hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in PHP how to implement Ajax jQuery live search functionality from database MySQL PHP my admin database so after reload the browser now when I type C see here we got the employee details if I type J there is no employee CJ if I type V I K R A M. Now notice in the text box the placeholder is the employee ID. Now let's search for the employee ID 7. See 7. If I type 1, we got the employee details whose employee starts with 1. 11. See the 11 is Sri Lata. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am using Notepad++. Notice in this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML code with some header tag H1, H2 and a horizontal line. Now before implement the PHP code to live search the records from database using jQuery, basic output how it looks at designing part on the browser. And this is the output of that code which contains at this moment only header tags and one horizontal line. Now the first thing we will check the table in MySQL PHP my admin database. Table name is the employee details which contains three columns employee id, employee name and join date. Now my aim is first I want to bind this employee details table into a html table after that I will implement the jQuery live search functionality from the text box control. So let's bind first this employee details table in the HTML table. After the horizontal line, input type is equals to text id is equals to emp search and placeholder is equals to employee name search let's close the text box control after that i am adding another horizontal line now after the horizontal line i am adding php core php now in this php code the first thing i am declaring my connection string variables the first variable is a host name is equals to local host the second one is the db name db name a database name is sample db let's add that one sample db dollar username which is root dollar password is equals to Here the password field I am leaving blank because I don't have any password to log into my SQL PHP my admin database. If you have any password please enter that one. After that I am declaring the connection variables my SQL underscore connect method. This connect method takes four parameters. The first one is the host and all our string variables. Let's add the host name dollar host name copy this one paste here comma and the second parameter is a username let's add the dollar username also between double quotes and the password field i have a blank so i'm not entering any details and the last one is a db name which is a dollar db name the database name after adding the connection string something went wrong here the double quotes yeah. The next step, I'm adding the query. My SQL underscore query method. And this query method takes two parameters. The first one is a link, which is a connection object dollar com, comma, and the second one is a SQL query command text, is a string. So between double quotes, I'm adding select start from. The table name is employee details let's add that one 
once the records are found dollar result is equals to my sql underscore num underscore rows i'm adding this query variable so once the results are found i want to bind that employee details table in the html table after the php code i'm adding table border is equals to one i'm closing the table tag inside this table i'm adding tr i'm closing the tr tag table headers table headers employee name table headers the second column is a join date So after the TR code, I'm adding PHP code to bind the records. To bind the records, for that I'm using while loop while dollar row is equals to my SQL underscore fetch underscore array method. In this array method, I'm adding the query variable dollar query echo TR closing the tier tag inside this tier I'm adding td td now in this td I'm adding the the column names between curly braces I'm adding the expression dollar row the column name is emp name we need to give the exact same name emp name the second column name is copy this one paste here join date the J is capital semicolon and that's it we have binded the employee details into this HTML table from my SQL PHP my admin database let's save this file we check the results on the table the employee details is displaying or not I'm reloading the browser oops we got an error here we need to add PHP let's save this file we'll check the output I'm reloading the browser again now we got the results the employee details table is on the browser now the next target is I want to implement the live search records using jQuery so when I type the employee name the first letter C I want to display the employee name contains C letter I want to display so when we are implementing jQuery functionality the first thing we require the latest jQuery CDN link so search for latest jQuery CDN Google and from the search results I'm selecting the hosted libraries now in the Google hosted libraries notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains jQuery select that one here you can find the different jQuery CDN versions I'm selecting the version 3.3.1 let's copy this one and add in the HTML header section now come to the bottom to implement the jQuery live search functionality after the table I'm adding the script tag I'm closing the script tag inside the script dollar between double quotes I'm adding the text box ID because we are searching the employee details through the text box control so let's add the EMP search which is a text box ID when we are adding IDs in the JavaScript or jQuery we need to prefix with hash and plus search dot on the on function I am adding the event is key up event comma function
let's declare a variable value is equals to dollar this dot val method this variable value is we are entering the values in the text box control so once the record is found dollar I want to get the details in that table tr dot each function result if the result is not equals to zero here the condition if the result is not equals to zero which means we found the record, the results are found. Variable ID is equals to dollar this dot find I'm finding the the row from this table TR TD between double quotes TD colon first text. It's the first letter I'm selecting. If id dot index of in this index of function I'm adding the value, the record we are entering in the text box control is not equals to zero, and and also I'm implementing the the case sensitive id dot to lower case function dot index of value dot to lower case is less than zero if the records are not found I want to hide the table employee details table dollar this dot hide function in the else part if the employee details are found I want to show the table dollar this dot show function that's it we have implemented the live search functionality using jquery on this employee details table in php let's save this file we'll check the final output on the browser now before reload the browser let's check again if i type c c we are not getting any results so let's reload the browser so after reload the browser now when i type c see here we got the employee details if i type j there is no employee cj if i type v i k r a m Vikram. suppose here we are searching with the employee name now i want to employ to search the details with the employee id instead of employee name so let's add one more column here copy this one paste here emp we need to give the exact column name which is emp id that's it here the condition is we are searching the first selector of the td column now the first column is the employee id let's save this file here we change employee id search let's save this file now we'll search the records based on the employee ids i'm reloading the browser oh we need to add the table header also table header employee id table header again save the file I'm reloading the browser again. See here we got the employee ID, employee name, and joined it. And notice in the text box the placeholder is the employee ID.
now let's search for the employee id 7 see 7 if i type 1 we got the employee details whose employee starts with 1 11 see the 11 is srilata that's it